Hi Poseidon fans. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video on how to clean and lubricate your bait casting reels. Uh, this video is it's kind of going to be a, a cliff notes version if you will. It's going to be real basic. This is just what I do when I clean and lube them. Um, I don't get too complicated mainly because I'll be the first to admit that I'm no expert on these things. I don't know all the names of the parts. I can't fix something when it breaks. If something breaks, I send my reel away to get worked on. But I just do a basic cleaning and lubrication maybe a couple times a year. And I think it really, really helps as far as just extending the life of your reel and keeping things working um, properly and make them last a little longer. Um... I know for some people, digging into a reel and cleaning it and doing things like that can be really intimidating, and it, it can be. I used to be the same way, but I'm hoping maybe when you see this video that you'll see that it's really not as hard and as scary as you th might think. Um, this is going to be real basic, so this is how I've done it for the last few years. I've never had an issue, and uh, my reels have been running great, so... Let's go ahead and get started. Just a couple things you're going to need. It's just some real oil and real grease. Both of these are the Ardent Real brand. Um, I don't think they're any particular or any better than any um, other brands, but uh, I just happen to find those on sale. So whatever you can find, I think will do just fine. A um, couple Q-tips maybe just for cleaning dirt and excess grease and oil. A small Phillips screwdriver. I got a couple of them. You never know what size you're going to run across. Um, and then a wrench or socket. Most of the time it's a 10 millimeter. And then I like to use a pair of plastic pliers just for one little step that I'll show you here in a minute. So let's get started. The reel I'm using today, this is a Daiwa Acceler 100 PA available at eposidon.com. Um, right handed reel, just for reference, when I'm saying left and right when we're doing this video. We're going to start on the left side plate. This particular reel has a screw, you unscrew it. Usually, I just use a, a coin or something to get it started. I already got it started here, but just unscrew that. And this left side plate should slide right off. Set that to the side, and then your spool should pull straight out. Set that to the side. Let me zoom in a little here. Hopefully this will be easier to see. All right, then we're going to move on to the handle side. Before we get going, I think the most important thing to remember when you're taking a reel apart and trying to get it back together is lay everything out in the exact order in which you take it off. So as I'm working my way down and taking parts off, I'm going to start laying things all the way to the right and working my way left. So that way when I go to put things back on, I'll work from left to right. Everything's in order, nothing can get put in the wrong place. It uh, can make it a heck of a lot easier and avoid some big problems when you put something on wrong. So the first thing we're going to do, take your Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take off this little nut cover here. One small screw. And then that is your 10 millimeter nut. A couple turns is all you need and it'll come off by your hand. And then your handle pulls right off. Most of the time there's a little spacer there. That just pulls right off. Then you're just gonna Unscrew your star drag so it comes all the way off. Set that to the side. Then there's usually a couple washers on top of this. This bigger piece here is the clicker for your drag. You can take them off one at a time individually. I kind of prefer just to grab the clicker and pull them all off together. Off. 
there we go and just a note usually there's a washer on the bottom and sometimes it might stick like that I'll usually pull that one aside and set it off on its own but all right now we're gonna need our screwdriver this particular reel has just three screws on the outside and just keep in mind a lot of times these are different sizes so when you go put it back together just keep that in mind in case you're having a problem not re all reels are the same like I mentioned before I think but um, like this here this is a casking BX1000 this has one screw on the outside here and then one two inside where the spool would normally cover it and then one more right here so just keep in mind it's not always going to be three screws on the outside of the plate so just undo your screws should just pull right off All right, <clears throat> let's start with this right side plate. Oh, just a note too. Try not to let this fall over when you got your side plate taken off. Always make sure you keep the standing straight up. If it falls over or something, that's when pieces could come unlodged and fall off and who knows where they go back half the time. So I always just get something to prop it up and keep it from falling over. But let's start on this side plate here. On the outside, there's a bearing right here where the uh, handle shaft would go through. I'll give that one small drop of oil, flip it over, and right here, if you can see that, on your, or your spool tension knob is, there's an open-sided bearing there. I'll give that one small drop of oil. That's it for the right side plate. Moving on to the bulk of the reel here. This is where you're going to use your grease. All I do is I just put a little bit of grease on the um, main drive gear. Doesn't take you know a ton and as you can see this is a pretty clean reel. It really doesn't need a whole lot of cleaning per se but this is where you would get your q-tip out and remove any excess grease or dirt or things like that but this is a pretty clean reel still but just put a little grease on your finger and then just start working it into the teeth of the gear here just work it all the way around And that's it that's all I'm gonna do on this part so from there we can put our side plate back on and also you know you can if it needs it use your q-tip around in here and clean anything out there too so but let's put the side plate back on now put our screws back in Like I said, they're not always the same size. These first two I put in are the same size, and then this last one's a little smaller. So just keep that in mind. They don't like to make things too easy on you most of the time. All right. And we'll start working our way backwards, putting this right side back together. Put your washers back on, and your drag clicker, not sure if that's what the actual technical name of that part is, but that's what I call it. Then your star drag goes back on. And this part can be a little bit tricky, you just want to make sure, see the shaft on these has a flat side, 
it can make it kind of difficult to get things screwed on straight so just watch close how it's going on and if it starts going on crooked and stops on you just start over but it'll spin nice and easy if you get it on straight and then I like to just kind of help that clicker get back in there sometimes they'll be inside the star drag already like they are made like that so you won't have to worry about it but just make sure you get that worked in there all right before you get it tightened on all the way and then this is the point where I'll use the uh, plastic pliers just to hold on to that handle shaft like this I like plastic one just so I'm not damaging it and just tighten your drag all all the way back on and you should hear it start clicking here there you go next is our spacer handle and again when you're putting this nut back on just make sure it is going on straight it'll go on by hand most of the way if it is tighten it up and then you'll see when you're putting it back on but you got to have that nut aligned just right so your cover will pop back on correctly so you can get the screw in okay the right side is done now we'll move on to the spool and the left side plate there's two bearings for the spool one on each side and I hit those both with just a single drop of oil one on this side here you can see it right there one small drop and then I'll give one real small drop just on the end of that spool shaft not a whole lot and then the other bearing is inside the side plate right there that gets one small drop of oil and that's it um, we can put the spool back in the reel in just oh I forgot one more right down here where the um, spool shaft goes in I'll give that one drop of oil as well and then you can put your spool in and sometimes um, oh the uh, or the worm shaft comes through on this side if that if you can see it there right there this piece sometimes I'll give that just a little bit of oil too <clears throat> all right now we're ready to put the spool back in just drops straight down in there and your side plate should go on easily Tighten that back up. And then at this point, this is when I like to go ahead and just give the outside of the reel a good wiping off and cleaning. Um, there are products. Um, that Ardent kit that I got came with some stuff that I actually really do like. You just spray it on the reel and wipe it off and it cleans it up real good um, I'm sure there's a lot of things you could use for this but just spray something on there and just give it a good wipe down you can use your q-tips and stuff too to get any dirt and anything like that around the spool and down in there and then the last thing that I do is uh let's see if you can see this here this piece right here that is called the worm shaft or worm drive i'll just hit that with a little bit of grease 
one little drop on each side. Just kind of work it in. That's it. And as you can see, that reel is smooth as butter again. So that's really all there is to it. It's not as bad as you might think. And you know, once you do it a couple times, I actually really do enjoy doing this, especially in the off season when I'm dreaming about fishing and all I can do is clean reels. So hopefully that'll help you give you a little encouragement to try it yourself and keep your reels running top shape and top performance and uh, make them last a whole heck of a lot longer. So thanks for watching. I know it was a long one. So appreciate you watching and have a great day.